Ah, oh, that's a great way to start. Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and let's go into the first world. Let's go! What does it look like? What does it look like? Best first world ever! Look at this! We got some torches. We got this barrel thing that has no use yet. We got another torch. We got a rock! I'm on a- hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, nope, DK, DK. I'm on a rock! It's a ra ha 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 It's not just a boulder- Oh, DK was going at quite the angle there, even though he's not supposed to. Uh, he hello there, gigantic wooden symbol. Can't you see that I'm exploring the first world? Um, um, showing me your stupid golden bananas. Well, if you think they're so stupid, why do you want me to show you them? Why would DK set up this guy? as, like, the gate guy. Why didn't he just make it impossible to pass through? Also, I feel like I should point this out. Uh, Wrinkly Kong died ever since the third game. Yeah, the very first time. Oh, yeah, they even reference it, DKC3. Um, so yeah, she will give you hints on where you can get some golden bananas, but not all of them, just some of them, and they usually correspond to the color of the color character, you're going to want to memorize it. Whoa, a beaver! That's one thing that I forgot to mention, is that this world has beavers. Uh, DK is yellow, and we'll get into these other colors later. For now, we don't have the characters. So, there you go. But she'll give you hints, but I must say, the very first time I accidentally ran into her, and keep in mind, I was like, let's see here, this game came out in 1996, surprisingly. Uh, so, I was three when this game came out, assuming a couple years later because I was too young to play this game. So, I was like five, maybe six, maybe as late as seven. Although I feel like the GameCube was coming out by that time, 2001, right? No, seven, it was 2003. God, I can math. Well, we got the GameCube. We've gotten all of our Nintendo systems, and just systems in general, rather late, comparatively, like couple years after their release date, which is how I usually am with systems, but anyways, just the very first time I saw that, I'm incredibly young, and then all of a sudden, this ghost thing pops out of a door, screeching, yeah, or however it screeches, and that scares the crap out of me, which is just not good. Okay, Squawk's telling you that you can gather bananas and stuff, and there are things, and oh, we have to correct, correct, yeah, we have to correct reg, reg, yeah, whatever. We have to collect regular bananas uh, in order to open up that uh, portal there. And we also want to collect at least 75 with each character in order to climb up the tree. This is what you were built to do. You're a monkey. We want to get, le get at least 75 per level in order to get the banana medal. And there's... Oh, God. The very first vine in the game. Come on, me. You want to get every single... You want to try to get all the banana medals in the game, or at least 15 of... Oh, come on, why am I going... I am so good at this game, I can correctly time my button presses of A. It is so good. Is there, like, a delay on this? No? Okay, I don't know. Well, then let's just go. There we go. We got, we got something going now, grabbing those bananas. They can come in either ones or fives. Oh, come on! Honestly, what is going on? Oh, dang it, we got some frame droppings. Uh, so for whatever reason, watermelons are your health, because monkeys totally use watermelons, right? Why do I not remember this music as well, at all? Is this music only in this tiny section before you go to the cave? I feel like it is. And then you go into the cave, the music changes, and then you go back into the jungles again on the other side of the cave, and then it's completely different music as well. Yeah, see, the music changes. That sounded a whole lot jazzier than what it usually is, and because I normally complete that without failing, I don't know th that far into the song. And look, it is the shortest warp distance ever, just that one tunnel. Yeah, this world is kind of small. I mean, it's really large, it's... Um, about probably slightly larger than the first world of Banjo-Kazooie. I'm probably going to be making a lot of comparisons to that game and the world sizes, uh, considering that they were made by the same people. So that there are 25 golden bananas with that within the area, but only 5 can be gotten by each character. 
So let's go ahead and grab that because apparently in between cutscenes, between us finding Diddy, sort of, and Squawks showing up to tell us about the golden bananas, we teleported about two feet forward. Okay, so where to start around here? We can't go that to that place with the vines quite yet. There's a bull. <laughs> oh my god, it's balloons! An actual balloon! Rather than what I was claiming to be balloons. And it's yellow, which means it corresponds to DK. But we have no idea how to take care of that quite yet. So let's just head on over here, I guess. And start climbing up the area. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We have a... Picture, we have a giant bottle cap with K. Rule's face on it. And we need to win a crown, therefore we can become king of the jungle. King of swing. Let's go and earn that title, I guess. Okay, so in every world there are one of these, um, mini games where there are a bunch of enemies. They get progressively harder, of course. For now, they're just going to be a bunch of beavers, which are your extremely standard enemy. They just chase after you and they only take one hit. So just go ahead and beat up. Be careful not to fall off or have them knock you back off the edge. Those That's the way that you are most likely going to die. So just be really careful with that. Just slap that one down. And then once your time runs out, the crown will appear and all the beavers will die and we can move on. So just a very fun short little thing. You want to get at least four of those, I think, for the uh, game. Like, you need four of them to complete it, but I will be getting all ten, of course. Um, so there you go. I believe there's ten. K. Rules and Shaking Text. I'm guessing he's sca really scared of K. Rule. Yeah, reptile kicking hardware. Awesome. Oh, he said K. Rule and Shaky Letters again. Uh, well, sure, let's go ahead and buy this coconut shooter. Now, kind of interesting thing is that... In the original beta of this game, uh, you can see, I believe, DK and Diddy holding out their guns. But in the original beta, it was just a regular metallic gun, not cartoony made out of wood and whatnot, like it is now. And DK had a mini shotgun thing while Diddy had two pistols. Um, but they changed it, probably both for the ESRB rating, to make it lower, so more people could play the game. As well as the fact that it didn't make as much sense, and uh, the metal guns could have just been placeholders until they came up with an actual design. So now we can shoot those balloons and make them pay for being balloons, and therefore being a part of K. Rule's army. Um, as well as... Um, pick up ammo and shoot other things as well, like the bees that you might have seen. But really, I don't pay that much attention to them because they barely ever get in the way. Also, you're going to want to be checking all these trees because, as you can see, they like to hide a group of five bananas up there. And we're already a third of the way to our 75 goal. And look, look at that, there's a cannon. Cannons are making a return in the series. Is there a bunch of bananas up here? There is! Sweet! I don't know exactly where all of them are. I'm not going to go for all 100 bananas. There's 100 bananas per world for each character. I'm just gonna go for the 75. But let's go ahead, grab that golden banana, completely forget about Diddy Kong, although then again he's behind a cage. Although you have to grab that banana in order for him to tell you what to do, essentially. So all of a sudden these switches pop up and they conveniently have a coconut all on them. So that's helpful. Uh, how do I- okay, let's start by going up this tree. Yeah, trees, the most important part. Yeah, five bananas. I was right again, I'm three for three. Well, three for four, if you count that very first one. I don't think I can even reach it from here. These things, these guns have a limited range. Oh yeah, there's no way. Um, let's see here. I think I'm gonna go this way first, so let's just go on here. That way I can activate this warp, and I have a much longer warp than the first one. Going down all the way to down to the bottom, and here we have a balloon, so let's go ahead and shoot that, make it pay for being a balloon, and climb up this tree. Will there be- actually, I don't think there are bananas on this one. I believe that there are blue bananas, but those don't show up until you get that character. Let's go in here. Meet this character. Let's just meet everybody. Socialize. Saving the island. Pa. We have to talk to foxes. Okay, revenge is this game. Uh, Blastomatic machine. That does not sound good. Destroy our island. That does not sound good. And he was working for them. 
Um, didn't trust him. Well, now he's, you're going to do something that would have made him not trust you. Keep, grab all the blueprints. So even more collectibles. There are so many collectibles in this game. But it's kind of easy to keep track of it all. So if you get a b blueprint and give it to him, he'll give you a golden banana. So a fifth of your golden bananas will be coming from this guy right here. One for each character, one for each wor or five for each world per one per character, essentially. So that's very helpful. Um, let's see here. Let's head down here. Now, because of the gun's limited range, I c I can't seem to hit this target unless I shoot it from right here. Like, I can't shoot it from the ground over there. Like, you probably should be able to. I didn't mean to fall, but okay, we'll, we'll just deal with this. So yeah, I can't really make that shot, which kind of really sucks, but whatever. Um, let's head on over here. Here is the second one. They're just all above gates. And then we can move on to the third one, which... I was hoping to go to that one second, considering there's the other three warp right there, and then I could just warp to this side, and then hit the third one right there, and then hit, uh, hit the two warp, and move back to the top, where, close to where Diddy is, over where that mini mountain is. But first, before we do that, let's head on over, not, uh, come on, nope, 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 don't fall. God, I, I am so bad at climbing trees. Some monkey I am. Okay, let's... There we go. We're swinging on the rope. Register the fact in my brain that we are, in fact, swing, swinging on a rope. And grab those bananas. 56. We are already so close there. Oh. Okay, we just hit each other. That works out, I guess. Eye for an eye. Make the whole world go blind. Yippee, way to go, DK. He can collect red bananas, and he has his own five bananas within the world. And there's a golden banana right back there. Now, I'm pretty sure if you try to go grab that with Diddy, it will not be collected, and you have to grab it with DK. Just something that they did to make sure that everybody had an even number of bananas, or rather the same number, because five is an odd number. So in that connotation, I was incorrect in saying so. Uh, am I even making sense anymore? I don't even know. Well, I don't even know if I use those words right. <laughs> Let's just go and grab that golden banana. Go up here, and right in the cage here. And then it turns out it's a trap, and then DK is locked up. Yeah, pretty much. So now that we grab that banana, for whatever reason, that triggers all these doors to open up. Why it does that, I don't know, but now we can explore the rest of this world. Also, look at that horrible draw distance. That coconut didn't appear until the very end. Here we have a peanut symbol. Remember the peanut symbol. We will be going there later, but not right now. We are going to explore more with DK. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I like to play this game uh, using as much of one character as I can before I go on to the next. Especially when collecting bananas, like I'll collect um, all of DK's bananas and then all of D Diddy's bananas, and then whoever else, for the most part, unless they're all like in a general area where one monkey has uh, one banana in the section of the world. That'll happen a lot in the later worlds. So there we go, we got the first blueprint. There's a purple... I believe their name is Kasplat, but we can't get him yet, so we can just roll into him. But we already got that one. Once you grab the blueprint, they will respawn, but their hair will be white, so you know that you already have their blueprint. Print. They can still hurt you, they can still kill you, you can still kill them. The, the only difference is that they don't have a blueprint. So there you go with that. Um, and there's one for each world, one for each character. So there you go. Man, we're just seeing all these red bananas hidden all throughout the area, and I don't want to mess with those yet. So I won't. And then the other two gates that opened up both lead to this section right here. Uh, the other gate... Uh, right over there. So yeah, they just all come around this way. That other one that we went to first is its own little section that really these guys, uh, the both of these guys can't do a whole lot with, and he is beating me up. Not cool. I, hey, don't beat me up again, sir. Um, so let's just go ahead, head on over here, and let's bust him down, grab the watermelon, because we got beat up a little bit. And move on into this very stormy area. A huge contrast from where we originally were. And let's shoot down this balloon. 
if I can. Oh man, this is already starting off on a bad slate. That is great. Grab the other four so we can warp. And I think first off, first off, these gigantic beavers um, scared me when I was little. We're just going to have a long list of things that scared me when I was little, because I really was a big wuss when I was a kid. Uh, those giant beavers really scared me, especially when they just popped up on the screen when I was turning the camera around, and I'd be like, Oh god, he's going to kill me. Or he's much larger than he should be. First off, grab these coins. And these five bananas. Uh, but yeah, especially in the stormy area. Just the stormy- this area in general scared me. But yeah, we have turned into Rambi. Rambi makes a return from the Donkey Kong Country games, and we can smash stuff. Unfortunately, this is the only world that he pops up in. I, I wonder what would happen if I tried to enter Cranky's hut as Rambi. Oh well, not going to try it. Not that mean to Cranky, don't want to give him a heart attack, and then he gives me no extra power-ups throughout the game. So let's just head through here, right around here, actually. If you go too far, you'll get, like, a little red thing, and you will transform back. So, no good. But... Yeah, we have this little extra area of the cave open now. Little spring. We can't really do much here, though. That, that'll come in later. We also have a sparkly. Remember that for later. We aren't able to fully complete this level yet, obviously, because we're missing three of our characters. Only Diddy is here. So we'll be coming back to this place a few times throughout this Let's Play. But I think I'm going to end this part by going into Cranky's lab, getting our next power up with DK, and I'll call it a part there. So, let's go ahead and talk to him. He needs three coins this, con t this time. He doesn't have any mini-games for us to do. So, yeah, you really do want to pay up, so let's go ahead and pay. And we got the Baboon Blast, which is very nice, although very situational. Uh, basically, whenever there's a pad with DK's face on it, you can use it to enter this cannon mini-game. And then if you complete that, you'll usually get a golden banana or you'll unlock something. And there's one for each world. That's about it. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. Kind of a good reference to the Donkey Kong Country games because they had all those uh, barrel sections where you had to shoot out of the barrel multiple times. Especially in the first one. But otherwise, that there you pretty much go. So, in the next part, I believe I will meet you back here. And we will grab more golden banana. Golden's banana and stuff. Yeah, that is the correct plural of golden bananas. And meanwhile, I'll get killed by this gigantic beaver. I'm just gonna grab these five, just because. Wonder if I'll get all a hundred. I can't remember where the last ten are. Oh well. Either way, I'll meet you right back here on this pad next time, and we will do more stuff. See you all then. Goodbye. How many bananas do we have? I can't end the video. Okay, well, we have two from this world, technically three, because once we turn in that blueprint. So, very nice progress, I think. Three golden bananas, essentially. So yeah, now, I will see you all next time. Goodbye!